told you to stop drinking when we play. Okay, say one more thing about my drinking, and I'm gonna kick your ass. That's my drinking. Oh! What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Bel Air, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're gonna be talking about Bel Air season two, episode six. This is the recap. Now I'm gonna try my best to focus on all the key points in this episode. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. And we know in this episode we saw the family reunion. So you already know it was gonna be some type of tension, but everything was good. It wasn't like nothing crazy as far as drama, but it was good to see, you know, Uncle Phil's brother Julius, played by Bill Bellamy, come onto the show and make things more interesting. But what do y'all think about your boy Jeffrey? Will he be able to finally see his son once again? We know Will, he put that, you know, idea in Uncle Phil in up Vid's head as far as getting him some help to help him see his son. And I hope that is the case because he's been going through it these last few episodes. But in this episode, he was able, you know, to talk about it a little bit more just to come out and tell the truth. And it seems like he's going to have another opportunity to see his son and hopefully fix some things. But we shall see. Now, the title of the episode is called let the best man win in the description of the episode reads Phil hosts a family reunion and Will considers accepting the Founders Award nomination. So those were the key elements of this episode. We're going to hop right into this recap. And if I miss anything, like I said, you guys let me know down below. Now, the episode starts out with Uncle Phil having a conversation with Aunt Vib. He wants her to get ready for the family reunion. He's preparing her with spades. And he needs her to go pick up his mom from the airport because he's busy handling things, right? But we know it's some tensions in the air with his brother Julius because the two always going back and forth as far as who's better. And he wants to make sure he wins the game that they play later on in the episode. Now, we get to Will and Carlton. And Will is telling Carlton, like, look, man, I'm thinking about accepting the nomination for the Founders Award. I just wanted to talk to you about it because Uncle Phil believes... I should be having second thoughts because you may take it a little bit hard. So your boy Carlton is upset. He's like, really? So he's probably saying that because he thinks you may win and I'm not good enough. And he's afraid of what Carlton's reaction may be if he does lose his right. Which makes sense because we know Carlton, he going to be on one if he takes that L, especially to Will. So he can act it all tough all he wants to, but we know the truth. Now, Phil and Vid, they end up talking to Jeffrey and he tells them the truth. Like, look. Yes, I've been looking for my son. They tell him they know. And it seems like they want to actually help him out this time around. And they tell him like, look, whatever you do with this information, it's going to be on you. You're going to make that decision as far as what you want to do with it. And they give him the folder with his son's picture and information inside of it. And you can tell Jeffrey was really happy. But at the same time, he's probably scared because he really wants to fix things with his son. But he believes it's, you know, a risky thing to do. Now, Uncle Phil's mom, she arrives. Man, she's cool. She had me cracking up throughout the entire episode. She be drinking. She be getting blazed. And it seemed like she has some product on her. But she just wants to have a good time or whatever. And she ain't really about all that drama because she know Phil and Julius, they always be going back and forth. But Will was happy to see her and all the new family members that he end up meeting at the reunion. Now, Will sees the folder of Jeffrey's son and now he wants to you know dig up some intel he wants to know what's going on with Jeffrey so he goes to Carlton and you know he has a conversation about it Carlton tells him like yeah Jeffrey has a son but it's like a secret secret he doesn't know all the details about it and his parents are keeping that under wraps but y'all know Will he's going to have a conversation with Jeffrey later on in the episode now um Viv she's pissed off at Phil because he did not tell her anything about Erica. She's blowing him up on his phone. She wants to know what he's going to do as far as taking that position at her firm. And he tells, you know, Vib, like, look, he was not going to make a decision until he had a conversation with her. We learned that the two had a, you know, little thing going back in his college days. That man done clapped those cheeks. And you can tell Aunt Vib did not like that. But Phil is telling her, look, it's all business. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. But I can almost guarantee you that Erica... She gonna try something. She gonna make a move on Phil in my opinion. You guys let me know if y'all think that's gonna be the case as well. Now, we get to Julius, his son, Cal. He is there and it seems like he's the other version of Carlton or whatever. He's just, you know, his cousin. And it seems like he has a lot of pressure on him. Hell, almost more pressure. Well, it is to me more pressure than Carlton has from Uncle Phil. 
And we can see that earlier on in the episode. And Carlton and him are kind of going back and forth. You know, nothing real serious. Just like a, a family competition type thing going on. They're supposed to be having a flag football game to see who's the best. But we know your boy Carlton, he decided to make a major decision when it came to that game at the end of the episode. Now, Will really appreciated Julius' story about how he came up and how Phil was the one that was supposed to be like the golden child. And their pops pretty much told Julius that he's not made for college and all that stuff. Pretty much just doubting him. And he didn't go to college, right? He proved that he can still be very successful. We know he owns like a car dealership down south. And he's doing real good. But you can tell Will really appreciated it. Because y'all know his story and his struggles. And he felt like he could relate to Julius. So throughout the whole episode, you can tell... He was rocking with him. Now, Kyle was making some mistakes during the game and Julius, he wasn't having it. He was talking about, look, sorry is for suckers. And you can tell that he was really going through it. And this is where I knew Carlton was going to do something as far as the whole football game that they had, the flat football game. I knew Carlton was going to look out for his cousin and he felt like it would take some of that pressure off of him, which it did. We saw the two, you know, pretty much have a little bonding moment at the end of the episode, but still. This dude is not playing around when it comes to his son and, you know, him making mistakes. Now, Hillary is upset because Jazz is not, you know, contacting her back. She wants him to come to the family reunion, but he's pissed off, especially after what happened in last week's episode with her ex Lamarcus being there. And you can tell how Jazz was looking. He wasn't feeling it once he realized that it was Lamarcus, right? And like I said, he's not hitting her back up. Now, Lamarcus, he is there. Like, what in the hell is going on up in here? Apparently, Uncle Phil has invited him because he wants him on his flag football team. And I'm looking like, man, you're going to invite this dude to be on the team? Like, really? You really trying to win? I mean, these guys don't play the level of ball that he plays. So it's almost like a cheat code. But luckily, Carlton did what he had to do to change the outcome of the game. Now, Hillary is upset because of what Uncle Phil has done as far as inviting LaMarcus there. On top of that, Hillary is a judge to the pie contest. And she's going around tasting all the different pies. Jeffrey told her the name of Uncle Phil's pie, but she wants to get payback. Even though she was the one that made, you know, the pie that Uncle Phil was saying that he made, she decides to pick Julius's pie as the best one. Uncle Phil was pissed off. He was like, really? So you're going to really, you know, go against your own pie? And Julius is like, really? So who made the pie? Like, you did it? I mean, what are you doing? Like, you're doing anything to win. And that's exactly what Uncle Phil was doing throughout the whole episode, y'all. He was trying his best to win no matter what. But just like the football game, this backfired on him as well. Now, Will finally hears the truth about Jeffrey and his son. Apparently, he was in a game back in London and he felt like his kid would be in danger. So he ended up stepping away or whatever. And the mom was taking care of the kid. And we know the kid ended up being adopted because the mom could not handle it. Jeffrey ended up coming to the States. And this is where he started working for Uncle Phil, right? But now he feels like he wants to get back into his son's life. He doesn't really know. He's scared, right? So this is why he was kind of, you know, hesitant on telling Will this story. Because we know Will and his pops and how that went. And what, you know, Will felt about his pops until they finally had that conversation. But Will tells him, look, at least you told me. I'm pretty sure your son would want to know the truth and not the truth that he believes is in his head. And he will be proud to have you as his pops once he sees how cool you are, right? So we finally get that full story of Jeffrey. It makes a lot of sense now, especially after what Jeffrey did for Will in season one, as far as setting things up with his pops. Y'all know Uncle Phil was pissed off about it. But now Jeffrey, you know, in his story that we heard about, it makes a lot of sense on why he did what he did. So this is why I ask you guys, do y'all think Jeffrey is finally going to be able to see his son? And if the two finally meet up, What's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Will it end up just like Will and his pops? Hopefully not. I mean, hopefully things go well for Jeffrey because that man is stressed out. Y'all saw how he's been acting all season long. And if he's able to finally meet his son again, I'm hoping things go well. But we shall see. Now, Carlton is having a conversation with his cousin. And like I told you guys earlier, he is starting to realize that Julius, he puts a lot of pressure on him, even more pressure than Uncle Phil puts on him. And Carlton understands that mental pressure of what they go through, right? Of every day having to prove yourself to somebody. And if you got your pops always, you know, telling you you ain't nothing and, you know, always on your back, it's going to make things worse. So this is why I felt like Carlton was like, man, you know, maybe I don't have it as bad as him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can use a break 
And this is why I believe he really helped his cousin out instead of trying to win and going against him and taking things so serious like his pops and his uncle. Now we get to the flag football game. Carlton was already pissed off that Uncle Phil went out and got LaMarcus because he felt like, man, this is supposed to be like a father and son moment and you're going to go get this secret weapon trying to guarantee yourself a win. I mean, this should have been easy, but we know it was not as easy as Uncle Phil thought it was going to be. And Carlton ends up missing the pass on purpose. And Julius and his team, of course, with Will, they win the game and he's happy as hell. And Uncle Phil already knew what time it was. He's like, look, I knew you would never miss that pass, and I knew what you did, right? And Uncle Phil tells Carlton, like, look, don't ever think I don't believe in you. I love you. I'm proud of you, right? He's just trying to make his son feel good because he understands all the stuff that he was doing throughout this episode was straight up foul for real, and he didn't really show a lot of trust in his son based off his actions. So hopefully things can be okay between the two, but looking out for his cousin and making sure that he gets that tension and pressure off him from his pops Man, that was cool for your boy Carlton. Now, Will, he goes and has the conversation with Julius, tells him that he appreciated everything that he spoke about as far as his journey growing up and the pressures that he was, you know, dealing with. And like I told y'all, Will really felt like he can relate to him. And Julius told him, like, look, people always underestimate people like us, but I need you to always prove them wrong. So Will definitely was, you know, feeling that. Now, Will goes to Uncle Phil and um, Vip, tells them that it would be a good idea if Jeffrey is able to see his son and hopefully they can help out. And if this is the case, I'm hoping that it takes a lot of pressure off Jeffrey once he's able to have that conversation with his son. Now they started a new tradition. They want to show respect to the elders, to the people that's done so much for the family. And the person that they're you know, going to show the respect to is Uncle Earl. We know Ashley was having conversations with him throughout the episode, trying to get his attention. He finally told her that he was a Tuskegee Airman or whatever. And we know he's in World War II. So they wanted to show that love and support for him. And that was cool, in my opinion. Now, Soul Train Line has started. Everybody's having a good time out there dancing. But LaMarcus, he is looking for Hillary. He wants to find her. Hell, he even said earlier on in the episode that he really wants to get back with her. And he's not going to stop until that happens. He goes into the house. We know Hillary. She is still trying to get in contact with Jazz. And she was talking a lot of stuff this episode, talking about I ain't going to get back you know, with LaMarcus, I'm good. She did not even want him there, but she went outside real quick when he said, that's her song or whatever, let's go out there and dance. And as she did that, she put her phone down and we can see Jazz, he texts her back, talking about, yeah, you can come through, I'll leave the door unlocked. But most likely she's not gonna see this text until she comes back in. And from the looks of it, it may be a little bit too late. And he's gonna be pissed off. He's gonna be like, what the hell, where were you at? And we know most likely Jazz is going to find out that LaMarcus was there and he's going to be pissed off. And we know Hillary did tell Will, do not tell Jazz that he was here. But come on, he said he is team Jazz. That's his boy. I'm pretty sure he may, you know, leak some information out there to him. And Jazz is going to be pissed off and it's going to make the whole thing even worse in my opinion. But you guys, y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen next. Cannot wait to see episode seven. I want to know what's going to go down with this whole Founders Award thing because I think your boy Carlton, he going to flip, especially if Will actually wins. I mean, I know he told him in this episode, it's good. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to have no beef. May the best men win, right? Well, we're going to see who that person is once that time comes. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.